I stayed up all night, but I finished it. We can try it out this afternoon. You think it'll work? It worked in electrospace. You based your gravity sensor on what you learned from a science fiction movie? Guys, we'll be able to detect changes in gravity, the type of fluctuations present when a wormhole opens. We'll be able to tell when a wormhole vortex has been opened. Maybe even be able to predict when it's gonna open. Ultimately, maybe we can actually learn to control it. Whoa. I can't talk right now. Hey, guys. Uh, Vortex? Oh, I get it. It's a secret. I like secrets. What are you doing out there, Tyler? Eavesdropping? That's pretty low, even for you. Just making sure you guys know your shift assignments for Durst's charity car wash. You know all proceeds go to our favorite charity. We've got them. Is that why you organized the car wash? To suck up to Durst? No way. I'm a huge promoter of children's literacy. He's so phony. Hey guys, did he overhear us talking about using Lucas's gravity device? No way, he couldn't. <laughs> the ability to change skin color and pattern, the chameleon can have many identities. Now, why do these little lizards alter their appearance anyway? Mm. To evade their predators? Many mammals and insects use camouflage for just that reason, Josie. For instance, an insect known as the walking stick looks like a twig in order to fool its enemies. However, Scientists believe that chameleons change colors for other, more complex reasons. Stuart, what do you see? The little guys turned green. And why do you think that is? Chromatophores. What? I had a pet chameleon. His name was Rainbow. <laughs> this one's probably turned color because he's hot, or mad, or scared. Very good, Stuart. Very good. When chameleons change according to their mood, it's a way of communicating. And though the details of this communication remain unclear, scientists believe that the colors are a representation of whether the chameleon is feeling angry or threatened. Science Club has a secret. <sighs> Professor Z must know about it. What's happening to me? Okay, so my mom drops me at this boarding school. And I'm thinking it's like all the other places I've gone. Students. Teachers, principal, you know, like normal schools. But it's not. Weird stuff happens here. Really weird stuff. And what's this guy doing here? Is his floating sphere the key to the mystery? Something's going on and someone's behind it. And we're gonna get to the bottom of it. There's nothing wrong with a Blake Holsey high. body blended into the wall. I can camouflage myself. Unbelievable. I think you're wrong. With a better understanding of the Vortex's gravity signature, we can develop a database. I got the door. I got it. Uh, hold still. I what? am holding Ow. still. You hold still. <laughs> Josie. Hi. Uh, hey. Weren't you outside? I had to drop off a paper. Right, uh, well, since you're here, why don't you uh, 
Help us get this put away before anyone sees it. Uh, Josie? Earth to Josie? Josie! Hello, are you listening? Of course. Maybe you could give us a hand. Does this have anything to do with the vortex? This is my gravity sensor. The one I showed you the other day. That you helped me calibrate. Hello. Right. I forgot. There's that stupid car wash starting. I can't believe Tyler signed us up for the first shift. He's such a user. He's not that bad. What? I think he's kind of hot. Since when? Jealous, Lucas? <laughs> Whatever. I can do this whenever I want to. Principal, there's, I think there's something wrong here. I've checked all of your folders. I can't seem to find the car wash file. I think you've been infected by the masha worm. Hackers are odious parasites. I agree. I'll install a firewall for you. A firewall? That should take a while. He knows what's going on with the science club. Dude. <laughs> what did you just call him? Nothing. So, what do you think of Lucas's new gravity sensing device? Not in front of Stu. Right. But can you at least answer my question? Rin, come on, be cool. You gotta keep the secret. Even if you guys don't always keep me in the loop, you know? All right, fine. Hey, Vaughn, um, I just want to say sorry about Josie. Sorry? That she's going on a date with Tyler? I thought you knew. She said she was going to tell you. I don't care. Josie can go out with whoever she wants. That's gotta hurt. <laughs> Principal Durst, are you all right? Oh, y y yes. I'm fine. <laughs> uh, how is that uh, uh, firewall coming? Hey. Hey. So, how have you been? Good. Listen, I heard about Lucas's gravity device. Oh, I wasn't sure how much he told you. Enough. But I don't get what all the fuss is about. Lucas thinks if we use it, we may learn how to control the vortex. I still don't get why the little twerp is making such a fuss. Travel through time and space at will? Time travel? What? It's not like you haven't done it already. Travel in time? Whoa. Don't you remember? 
Well, <laughs> I guess I'd remember that, wouldn't I? You're acting strange. What's with you today? Nothing's with me today. What's with you? <laughs> <laughs>